Guys, we're back here at this movie trading. We don't come here too often, but uh, they do appear to have a lot of Anchor Bay releases, like original ones, so that's cool. And this, which I do not own, so I'm gonna have to pick that up. And uh, there's Miss the Island Rescue on DVD, which I do not own either, but I think I'll pass on it for now, hoping we find something else that's better. But yeah, um, that's all they have, so I think we're just going to stick with this. On to the next store. Uh, prize books. Once again. And we do have some stuff here. Greatest Stories, classic. You guys know how much I love that DVD. And ooh, a reprint edition of The Best of Gordon. How often do you guys see that one? Can't imagine it's often. But uh, yeah. Um, I don't see anything else. On to the next store. Alright, back at this movie trading. Love that one. Calling all engines in a different font, I guess. Mud Glorious Mud. Splish Splash Splash, which we do not have. It is the Lion's Gate release. We're gonna be picking that up. I think that's... I think that's everything they have, so yeah. On to the next store. <laughs> once again yikes looks like that's it no tapes on to the next store <laughs> all right guys so we're a movie training and that looks like a slim case put in the bigger case and yeah, this is pretty hard to find in the normal case, not the slim case. It's great to be an engine, animals aboard, blah blah blah. Stuff we already have, except this. Thomas is a little rough looking right there, but you know, it doesn't look too bad and it's, it is the original release, so I think we're gonna get it regardless of this so yeah oh and a little rip right there too but that's fine why not on to the next store <laughs> that's pretty cool i don't see anything else though on to the next one. Alright, we're back at this location. Let's see if they have anything that's uh, of interest. We got this theme team collection again. Um, Ultimate Christmas. Two-pack Thomas and the Treasure. Universal print of that. But uh, yeah, nothing else. I'm speaking loudly because of the music. But yeah, nothing here. On to the next store. Let's see if they have anything, and they do have some stuff. Um, but yeah, it looks like looks like that's it. Nothing that we need in particular, but uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh well, we got some good stuff. All right, we're at a thrift store here, a mini mall. They got a bunch of Thomas trains here for 20 bucks. 20 bucks for all this, all in really good condition. So I think it's worth it. Look, there's a Mavis, box cars, and a hand car. Why not? 20 bucks, we're getting that. 
Okay, guys, we are back home to take a look at the haul. And we did get three DVDs this time and a bag full of goodies, a bunch of toys from different um, different brands here. Um, we're going to actually open that first, but I wanted to point out that it's starting to get a lot more difficult to find original releases of DVDs, especially stuff like um, Come Ride the Rails. That version I found at that Half Price Books was not the original release. The original release has a has the, uh, I believe, the 20th Century Fox logo. Wrong. Eh. And the line of Sodor, which I didn't think I'd find the original release, but, you know, here we are. We got our list there, and here's the bag of goodies. We're gonna open it up and see what we got. Okay, guys, first things first, just gonna start grabbing random stuff out of the bag. We got a Jack Jumps in movie car. I already have one of these, but uh, it's always good to have the these uh, box cars, especially when creating s trains like the Flying Kipper and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, it was just called the movie car, but the point of it is you look through through here and you would see uh, pictures from the episode Jack Jumps In and you can almost kind of see it in there. But uh, yeah, it's kind of like a slideshow of the episode. I know they released one for uh, Faulty Whistles, which I also do have, but uh, yeah, it's always nice to have these. Um, up next, we have just a standard truck in yellow. Yeah, I haven't even tested out if all the magnets work. Up next, we have a random shipping car. I do also have one of these, but it is in a lot worse condition. But uh, we, yeah, with this one, you, you can actually switch what's inside just by doing that. And uh, yeah, sometimes it gets stuck, but that's okay. Pretty cool. I, I miss when toys were like this. Uh, yeah, up next, Duncan. This is my third Duncan, I believe. So, you know, it's always good to have more. Especially since the paint chips on a lot of them. And this one is in actually pretty, pretty good condition. Even the eyebrows are still on here. Yeah, you don't see that too often. But yeah, that's Duncan. We have Mike's Tender, but no mic. I don't have a mic. I have the re-release one with the big giant Thomas Wooden Railway magnets. But uh, yeah, here's the Mike's Tender. We're gonna have to get a mic eventually. Next we have Henry. Just a standard take along Henry in really good condition. Edward's Tender. I believe I saw Edward in here. Yep, here he is. Here's Edward. Not the worst condition. But uh, at least he gets his tender, you know. It's nice to have a complete set there. Next is James. We did get a James. Take along James with the gray wheels here. Good. Yeah, it's good to good to see him. A little bit wonky, but that's okay. Speaking of Henry, we here is Henry's tender. So we also have a complete Henry, Henry and Edward. Good. And. A wooden railway Henry but uh you know just just Henry no tender yeah um I believe the year on this one 2003 but you know it could be any year next Mavis also in really good condition I believe this is also a take-along one I also do have a take-along one but it is in a lot worse condition than this one even the the back here looks amazing. Yeah. Whoever had these definitely took better care of them than I did. And finally, we have a hand car, which is self-explanatory. You know, you move it along the line and it moves up and down. But uh, yeah, the only two wooden railway items, Henry and the hand car. That could be an episode. All right, that's enough of that. Let's move on to the DVDs. And we'll start with the Lion Sodor. There's nothing in there, it's just a disc. Um, not in the best condition, but I would say it's passable. The original Lionsgate release, Lion Sodor, Lionsgate, very nice. And uh, yeah, I don't even know what episodes are on here besides the Lion of Sodor. This was a season of Thomas and Friends that I was not watching when it came out. 
But uh, yeah, let's cr let's cross it off the list. Here it is. Came out in uh, 2010, around the time of Misty Island Rescue, and we do have a green pen this time. So that's fun. There we go, the Lion of Sodor. And we're pretty close to completing uh, 2010 here. But uh, speaking of 2010, and something else on that list is Splish Splash Splosh, where we get to meet Charlie. Lionsgate release. Um, I have seen this because I do have a copy of this that I've got from my local library. And uh, the image on the box art is a lot smaller because that's what they did. Um, I don't think there was anything in here, yeah. And there's the disc because why not? Might as well show that one since I felt like opening it. Yeah. Not a bad, not, not a bad uh, round of episodes there. You could definitely do a lot worse, especially when it comes to this era of CGI Thomas. You could do a lot worse. Recommend that DVD. And uh, last but not least, we have Start Your Engines, starring Thomas, James, and Felipe. Here is what many call to be some of the best Thomas episodes ever, I'm sure. Not really, I'm just messing around but uh yeah not a bad era of thomas and friends start your engines the universal print and this is the original re or print i had to check sometimes you see universal logo on some of these dvds and unfortunately it's the reprint but uh yeah it's from 2016 wow i was definitely back into uh, thomas and friends around this time around 2015 i would say the release of the adventure begins but uh yeah that's the haul for today three dvds and a bunch of toys all right that's it for this dvd hunt thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next one